It's a science fiction film like no other, incorporating both time travel and a devastating world virus. Yet despite the title, it's got nothing to do with chimpanzees, gorillas or orangutans. Yes, we're talking about 12 monkeys, and this is Sign 5. 12 Monkeys was directed by Terry Gilliam, which was originally inspired by a 1962 French short film called La Jetie, which is composed almost entirely from still photographs. Although films featuring virus outbreaks and travelling back in time in an attempt to change the course of history are commonplace, it's very rare to see these two ideas mesh together. Yet as highlighted by the Novikov self-consistency principle, if a person was able to travel back in time, altering the past wouldn't actually be possible, as they were a part of that history all along, which mirrors the exact outcome of the film. Yet one of the key aspects of 12 Monkeys is that the time travel process itself is not at all precise, and for someone like James Cole, travelling to the past on a reoccurring basis is a traumatic and difficult experience, which as he states, impacts a person's comprehension of reality. By contrast, in most films when someone time travels, the protagonist quickly adapts to their new surroundings and even has a distinctly positive influence on those around them, as if to demonstrate how a contemporary person is just so much cooler than those from the past or the future. Yet in Cole's case the opposite occurs, as he's essentially an outsider who really doesn't fit into any timeline. Worse still is when he travels back to 1996 and experiences a wondrous new world for the first time, which he knows will soon be destroyed. Yet what gives the film a level of credibility is if someone actually claimed that they were from the future and had knowledge of future events, even if it seriously impacted the world. Chances are they probably would end up in a mental institution because after all, who would want to believe them? Ultimately what makes 12 Monkeys such a unique film is its colour palette and production design, which are both designed to highlight just how unpleasant and depressing the world and the people within it actually are, regardless of what time period it is. One of the film's core strengths is about the notion of perspective. What you think is occurring can often be the opposite of what really is occurring. Good guys can be bad guys and vice versa. With that in mind, the perceived threat from the army of the 12 monkeys is a classic cinematic MacGuffin, whereby the protagonists believe the army is responsible for the virus outbreak, whereas they are simply a group of people focusing their energy on animal welfare. Moreover, it's interesting to note the view of the future, which when presented through Cole's eyes is designed to highlight how convoluted our world really is, which ironically has become more complex and difficult in the decade since the film was released. Without doubt one of the most fascinating characters in the film is Catherine Rayley, who is thrust into Cole's world totally against her will. Ultimately Catherine represents the audience, who are left to wonder what they would do if confronted with someone like Cole, claiming they have travelled from the future, only to then discover he was speaking the truth. Somewhat poetically, out of everyone in the story, it's the psychiatrist who has to reprogram herself to accept this new reality, and her role in what is essentially a Cassandra Syndrome. The film presents the notion that the removal of humanity and the re-establishment of animals in the world would actually be a positive thing. Sadly, even after 30 years since the film's release, the actions of a few individuals can still have dire consequences for the masses. One interesting facet of the film is how the future scientists operate as a collective, finishing each other's sentences and acting as an individual entity, which isn't too dissimilar to the scientists in the mental institution. It's likely this is intended to imply that powerful people in groups tend to lack individual thought and therefore lack any sense of personal responsibility or initiative. Without doubt one of the best aspects of the story is its unpredictability, especially in the film's climactic moment at the airport, where the child version of James Cole sees himself effectively as a violent terrorist who is then killed by the authorities. This then asks the question of what it would be like seeing yourself as an adult when you yourself are just a child, especially once as an adult you recall the specific event where everything occurred. As it is, the sequence where the adult Cole and Rayleigh attempt to prevent Dr. Peters from boarding the plane with the virus is a great moment in the film, because ultimately nothing changes as far as the future is concerned, which is a very un-Hollywood type ending. In the end, 12 Monkeys is both a fantastic and thought-provoking film. On top of that, who didn't think that life was imitating art when the COVID-19 pandemic first hit? So while you ponder just how close we got to doing our own 12 monkeys and moving underground, join us again for another Sci-Fi Spective.